And we've been talking with Noam Bonehead of Oasis tonight. I was trying to make mess up there. I love that. I love it. There was a switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it happens. Man. I like that. I like that bonehead. No wall wounds kicking in there, Matt. So yeah. it's just yeah. been getting all this stuff. It happens. Oh, I can do this stuff. I can get all of these going at once. You can oh. do the old Elvis shake or something <laughs> like that. But seriously. It's about it's lubrication. What about, what about tour plans? You're not going to rent an island over in England like you know, the Roses did and like then have a show and then sell it off for a free parking for the whole uh, nah, continent, nah, are you? Nah. No. Uh, you did Glastonbury. Yeah. And uh, what's going on as far as tour plans uh, here and abroad? Um. Well, here yeah, we've, we're doing this tour and then we're coming back. I don't know where we're playing. Going when we to come York, back. Aren't we? And then we're, we're doing a couple of we're doing the, we're doing a couple of big gigs in England. They're, they're actually the biggest indoor gigs in Europe that's ever been staged in Earl's Court, and we're being supported by the Bootleg Beatles. It should be a laugh. Who are they? Are they going to do Beatles covers? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're Beatles covers, band. they do all the costume changes and all that. How oh, do they really? Yeah, you know, there was a thing over here like that years ago called Beatlemania. Right. You heard about it, right? And then nope. Clash sang uh, <laughs> Funny Beatlemania is bit in the dust right. and all that. But anyway, that sounds cool. You'll have some fun. At least, you know, yeah, you, yeah. it's not yeah. Bjorn again opening for you. Yeah. So. Well, no, it's better than that, mate. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But that sounds like that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, sure. And one of the things that's great to people that they haven't seen the tour live yet, uh, you do a little break in the middle, an acoustic thing that's really amazing. I mean, I, I, literally, I was knocked out by it last night when you're doing Wonder Wall, which is such a great new song, and Cast No Shadow. and. Okay. Morning Glory, it was, it was pretty amazing. Mm, Speaking yeah. of Bonehead and Noel of Oasis, and we're hanging out together, let's talk about your hometown, famous hometown in Britain, in music forever. It was the Hollies, and then Buzzcocks and Joy Division, and yeah. you know what I mean? And then, of course, the whole thing with the Mondays and the Roses, and you know, and the, the Manchester mm. scene, it's, it's really alive again, and you guys are the focus of it. In mm. fact, all the bands, when I've talked to the Roses and people, they give you props, they love you guys. They're, like, yeah. they're psyched for you. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's uh, must be something in the water. I think up there. I don't know. It just seems to have. Uh, well, there's nothing better to do up there than, than support Man City, regardless of what he'll tell you, and uh, <laughs> being a group, you know. But um, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know why it's why it's spawned so many great bands. What do you think, Bonehead? It's not just Manchester. It's like northwest of England. You know what I mean? It's Liverpool. Yeah, you're right. There's some great stuff in there. You know what I mean? It's just legendary. I think the northwest of England is just like I said. There's not a lot to do. And it's Sort of your northern towns and what you do. Right. So it's like start a band, do something. So yeah. Or start a band. Well, you either, you either sort of start a band yeah. or play football or become a criminal. Or become a criminal football and playing guitar. Right, because there's football like fans over there that are criminals. They beat each other up. They put right. their stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're unbelievable. They're our roadies, them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of them, right? Bonehead, where'd you get that name, Bonehead? And what uh, are, no. Can you tell us? Bonehead. All right, well, let's, here's a question. Uh, go ahead, if you can answer that. But I want to just say, people that are Oasis fans, there's an import vinyl out with an extra song that isn't on a new album called Bonehead's Bank Holiday. Now, if you don't know what a bank holiday is, it's like Labor Day here in America. It's the, the Monday that's off. Bonehead's What's Labor all about? Day. What's yeah. it all about? I even wrote it. That's good. You wrote it? What are you doing on a bank holiday? Is this some I, kind can't of I can't remember doing it. I was drunk. I was just read this... Uh... Well, you know, like the Beatles used to get Ringo to sing the old tune in there. Uh... Yeah. But these aren't Ringo, innit, you see? Yeah. I mean, he's ugly as sin. You know what I mean? Completely untalented. I don't think you guys compliment each other like that. It's a great thing. <laughs> the, lo the luckiest man in rock. So we thought we'd write him a song, you know what I mean? Yeah. Born his bank holiday. It's about nicking cars and going to Spain and meeting girls, his mothers and nuns. That's nice. I appreciate that. There's still more to come with Noel <laughs> and Bonehead of Oasis here on 120. But first,